everybody. My name is Jason, and I want to walk you through a new feature we're going to be shipping in Basecamp shortly. Um, this is a preview. It's not completely done, so there's some stuff that isn't quite right yet, but uh, I thought it'd be fun to share some work in progress. This isn't something we've typically done in the past. We usually just ship something when it's done, but I thought it'd be fun to, to do this occasionally. So here's the first shot at it. All right. Let me show you around. So what we're looking at today, or looking at right now, is Basecamp today. And at the top, there is this menu item called My Stuff. And this has been here for a number of years. And it has a few different things in it, right? You've got a link to your assignments. So these are all the to-dos that are on my plate um, with a few different tabs, things I've assigned to other people, things that are just assigned to me. Um, I've got my bookmarks. These are internal Basecamp bookmarks. These are, here's my schedule. Here's all the stuff that's coming up for me events that I'm part of, that sort of stuff, meetings, whatever it might be. You can, of course, add all this stuff to your own calendar so it's synced up with whatever calendar system you use, drafts, things that you've written that haven't been published yet, that sort of thing, right? And um, this has been the way it's worked for a long time, and it works pretty well. The problem is, is that you can't look at this while you're doing something else. And oftentimes, people want to have a list of the things they're responsible for doing alongside the other work that they are doing so they can bounce between different things as they complete stuff. Right now, you have to keep coming back here. So for example, you're in a project. You want to see if you have a to-do that you need to deal with. Well, you have to go up here, go over to My Assignments. You lose the project you're on. You look at the thing you want to do. Maybe you click into it. Maybe you check it out, whatever it might be. But uh, you don't have a list of your assignments anymore, so you have to go back up here and go back up to your assignments. And there's a lot of round tripping going on, which is fine, but not ideal. Um, which is why a lot of people, you know, in life would have something like next to their laptop. They might have a notebook next to the laptop, or handwritten notes, or or something they jot down, or sketches, whatever it is. It's next to it because they want it up also at the same time that they're looking at something else. So. I started thinking about how to deal with this in Basecamp. And we have an idea that we were going to ship soon called My Side. So let me show you what that is. Again, today we have the My Stuff menu, but the new version will not have that anymore. So you'll see My Stuff gone. And what used to be in place of the Basecamp logo in the top left corner now says My Sidebar. And if you click the sidebar link here, it opens up a sidebar. And um, I'm just jumping into a project really quick. Opens up a sidebar. By the way, some of these jittery animations are, are going to go away. This isn't quite done yet, but it'll be hammered out by the time we ship it. Um, you've got the sidebar now of all of your assignments, all the things you're responsible for. And you can move through any project, and this stays in place. So you're no longer having to bounce between menus and losing your place. You can kind of check things out as you go um, and you know go into some documents, um, check out you know, whatever you might want to check out. It's PDF, PNG, PDF, files, create a new document, link up a Figma file, link up something from Airtable, whatever you might want to do, you can do all that by, and still have your assignments right at your side. And of course, you can click on any one of these to jump right to it. There it is. You can click on another one to jump right to that one, check that one out, and everything stays handy at your side. Now, um, let me just jump back to, eh, I'll just go back to a uh, different project here. Okay, so not only can you have your assignments at your side, but you can have stuff you've assigned to other people at your side, right? These are all the late things. These are all the other things you've assigned to other people. And this pull-down menu has all the things that were in that My Stuff menu, um, but presented a little bit differently. So you can have your schedule always at your side as you move through projects in different places. So if I go over here and jump into this chat room or something like that, I've still got my schedule right up alongside. And this is just my stuff, right? So um, I have my recent activity. So this is everything I've done in Basecamp recently, time stamped. So if I did something, I want to go back and check it out, or I want to see what someone else responded to it or whatever, I can always just jump back in time and find that thing I was looking at before. That's always right here as well. Um, boosts in Basecamp, people can boost something you said. Boost is basically a way to give kind of a thumbs up or an attach an emoji or have a little short message as well. So this can be on to-dos or comments or, or, or files or check-ins or a variety of other things. Uh, also your bookmarks. So if you want to use your bookmarks to navigate around Basecamp, you can kind of create your own navigation scheme by bookmarking the things you want to go back to 
all the time and having these right here in your sidebar and you can just kind of poke around and get into these things, right? Um, and because Basecamp has all these different tools integrated into it, messaging, chat, to-dos, file management, scheduling, you don't need to bounce between four or five or six different products. It's all in Basecamp and having everything bookmarked right at your side is a great way to kind of bounce between the things within the app without having to switch between different products. Uh, and then we also have drafts. So uh, these are things you're working on. Of course, they haven't been published yet. If you want to check one out, you just click on that and it will load up over here on the right side. You'll see here this flag, by the way, is a feature we have in Basecamp called, um, well, basically it's a feature to, to allow clients to see certain things in projects, but also not allow them to see other things. So that's what that little flag is for. All right, so um, there's one other feature though that's part of this that we don't have in the current version. So again, if we go back to the current version, you go to my stuff, you'll see my assignments, my bookmarks, my schedule, my drafts, my recent activity, and my boosts. But the new version also has a new feature called My Notes to Self. And um, this isn't exactly working in this demo right now, but you'll get a good sense of what it is. So My Notes to Self is essentially a scratch pad, a live scratch pad that sits alongside everything else you're working on in Basecamp, and you can jot your own notes down. So you can make a quick, quick to-do list, uh, of you know stuff I need to do, right? You can jot down uh, a draft of something you might be working on, or a paragraph you're thinking about, or a headline you might be playing with, or or something, some text that you might need. For example, I have historically used IA Writer uh, to just I switched to IA Writer. I've got a long text document full of just random thoughts, random things that come come to mind, and. Um, you know, it's it's great, it's a really handy thing, but I have to keep switching between different products. And then I have stuff in different products in different places. The whole idea behind Basecamp is you have everything in one place and it's a much more organized way to work. Um, and so for example, let's just say I had some text that I was working on, or I just wanna copy this because I want to put it somewhere else. I can just drop it here, right? Um, and I could go somewhere else to some other project or some other place. And of course, just copy and paste this back in, or I could work on this in a different way. and Anyway, you could just have this, this scratch pad, this, this free form scratch pad, basically a text file um, alongside. And if you were to leave here, this isn't gonna work right now because this isn't saving in this current demo, but you can go back to your assignments, move around with your assignments, um, check different things out, and then you can always flip back to your notes and this would have been populated with this. So it's gonna auto save all that for you. So anyway, this is the new feature that's coming to Basecamp. By the way, if you wanna ever just hide this, you just hit the little Sidebar icon, it goes away. You're back to full screen mode in Basecamp, looking at all the shared stuff. And if you ever want to get back to your own stuff, you can just do that Oops. and pull down whatever it is that you want to see and have alongside as you go through your account. So this should be shipping in the next few weeks. We're finishing it up right now. It's in QA and it's almost there. Again, some of the animations will be cleaned up. Things won't be quite as jittery. Stuff will stay in place. The My Notes feature will work and save what you've written so you don't have to do anything and lose anything. But other than that, that is the new feature, and we certainly hope that you like it. And uh, thanks again. If you have any questions, uh, you can uh, tweet them, and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks again for watching. And by the way, if you don't use Basecamp, please do check it out, basecamp.com. Thanks.